Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews Channel and today we're going to tackle the thermostat in our 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan GT 3.6 liter. Okay, actually we started it already a little bit but let's show you exactly what we'll be doing. Alright, you got to take the beauty cover off, okay, just pulls right off. Now what you're going to do is take the PVC hose off just fold it back see it's hooked over here just fold it back now this is either uh you could use either a stick this this stubby flathead or i believe it's an eight millimeter just unhook it okay then you got to unhook the air box the clips here and you know just yank this off okay there's your air box take it off see what we're doing now is we're creating extra room because the thermostat is actually under here the thermostats under here okay so now this air box container should pull right up okay and you also you need to let me show you guys the power steering reservoir has to come off this is a uh, what is this I believe a uh, what is this uh, this is actually a half inch it's a half inch okay and yeah take this off just put it to the side a little bit okay now take off actually just come off I'll make sure everything is in now this should just pop right off this is the container you know clean this out before you install it back you know you might want to take some you know windex or, or something just to get all the leaves and stuff out of there because that's where your air filter is going to go okay now make sure there's nothing in this hole you know from debris you know there's all kinds of crap in here it's always nice to just clean it out you know because you don't want nothing getting in here you know okay now what you need to do is here's your 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 power steering reservoir the thermostat is right here guys see it down there it's right there okay what we need to do is we're gonna need to get a let's get some kind of a bungee a bungee you know, we'll put it in the hole here. Okay, we'll put it in the hole. In the hole. If I can get it in there, okay. Now, see if I can just, I don't wanna break anything, you know? I don't wanna break anything. Let's see if I can get it in here somewhere. I put it over here. It's not really a safe, safe spot for it, but you want it kind of out of the way because there is your thermostat right here. And here is the new part I got. And also, just so you're aware, I did put a plastic container under the car because you will lose antifreeze in this job. You might lose a little, you might lose a lot, we don't know. But here's the part, the Duralast part. This came, this came with, hang on a second. This came with the housing. You always want to get it with the housing. See the housing? The thermostat is already installed in there. There's no need to touch it. Okay, this is the housing always buy i think it was twenty dollars okay and here's the part number see how i move the the hose clamp down a little further i had to use two hands guys sorry about that now this is going to be basically welded on there i mean it, it's going to be tough to get it off so what i have here is i have a little you know little little tool here you could also get some 10w40 and squirt it in there as your you know, second yeah, see, it's actually, okay, you actually see the antifreeze starting to come out already. See it? Okay, let me, let me see if I can. Yeah, see the hose coming out? See it? It is coming out. Okay. You see it? We did lose some fluid, see? But we do have the plastic container down there. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down there for right now. These nuts or bolts are 10 millimeter right here. There's one here, and there's one underneath the housing. We're going to go ahead and take that off now. Put it on right here. Okay. This over here. Now, there we go. Okay. Here's the old one. It was probably getting stuck closed or, you know. Okay. And right there, see where the hole is with the antifreeze, obviously. Okay. We got lucky on this one because we did not break the housing. However, I already purchased a brand new one with the housing. So we're going to put the old one in the box like i showed you before that is the part number what is it 902 3036 i believe what we're gonna do is 
there's no RTV on here, there better not be anyway. Um, so I'm gonna clean off the housing here. I'm gonna clean off the mating surface a little bit. Just make sure there's nothing on it, you know, just so we get a nice, you know, a nice. Seal, you know, so there's no leaking and I am going to spray with water Because a lot of fluid got all over the belts. You do not want to start your car up and drive with with um, With your serpentine or drive belt soaking wet with antifreeze very very dangerous Okay, so now here is our new one We are going to install the new one here. It is already in there's no need to take this out it already has a weeping hole in it already, so there's no need to drill a hole in there. Okay. All right. And like I said, there's a catch can on the bottom there. Okay. All right. Let's put the new one on, on the clean surface we just cleaned. See it? All right. And yes, and just so you know, this car was spitting out code PO128. It is the thermostat rationality, you know. It's the um, it's the code for a uh, thermostat rationality. I think I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Okay. I think it was yeah no it's thermostat is 128 I believe the code 128 P zero 128. So let's install this with two hands. I'll be right back guys. The thermostat housing is now in. I put the two tens in, one here on top, one on the bottom. Do not over tighten these. You will crack the housing and then all that work you just did is for nothing. There is a weeping hole up here. You could use a flathead screwdriver here. This is after it's all filled up. You know, you just wanna, you know, just just let it breathe out a little bit, right? You know. Now I'm gonna use my two hands if I could. Okay, actually I did it with one hand, good, okay. Now I'm gonna use my pliers. Well, actually I'm gonna use my channel locks and I'm gonna put the clamp lock back on give me a second guys hey guys I got the hose back on and the clamp took a little doing but I did it I did need two hands for that now everything is hooked up now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to fill up Ford GM 1995 and up and Chrysler Dodge 2013 and up even though it doesn't say Dodge you know Chrysler's are basically same as Dodge. Okay, let me fill it up. I want it to be as full as possible. I want all the air to come out. Because basically what you want to do is you want the, the thermostat to open up, like the new thermostat. So once it hits the operating temperature, the new thermostat should open up, okay? I'm gonna like step on the gas a little bit, just a little. I'm gonna get all the air out of the system, you know? Okay. Okay, the temp's going up a little bit, but you'll actually, You'll probably hear the thermostat, you know, clicking open eventually, not right now, but. And again, I wanna make sure there's no leaks under here. There's gonna probably be little things like dripping, like water and stuff, but if you notice, I do see water dripping from what I, like from the spray pattern I just did, you know? But there's no leak leak, you know? There's no leaking, which is good, obviously. Those little drips are water. You can tell, they're clear. <laughs> The antifreeze is orange. So, all right. Yeah, so I'm not gonna hook up, I'm not gonna tighten down the power steering reservoir yet, in case I gotta get down there still. I wanna make sure the operating temperature, I wanna make sure the thermostat opens and closes properly before I wrap it up, you know? All right. All right. And they do say to put your heat all the way up or whatever, right? Is that how it is? You put your heat all the way up, whatever. Yeah, put the heat all the way up, the fan on high, I believe it is. All right, yeah, put all the way up. All right, 
push on the gas a little more. It's almost just about a temperature. It's almost in the middle there. And guys, if you get antifreeze on the ground, clean it up with a hose because animals love to drink antifreeze because it's sweet. It'll kill them. Be careful. Be mindful because I'm an animal lover, okay? If you see antifreeze anywhere, clean it up immediately because animals will drink it and they'll die, unfortunately. That's horrible. Okay, what do we got here? Let me make sure everything is good. Fill her up. Gonna fill it up to the top again. The bubbles are out. We're gonna. Okay, got it. We're gonna put the cap back on. Okay, it's gonna fill up a little bit, obviously. Done. Clean it off. I'm going to clean off everything that just spilled. Take it off. Make sure it's on. Okay. Guys, now we're going to hook up our power steering reservoir. Okay. Okay. This is plastic. Don't over tighten it. We're going to. Okay, let's make sure everything is hooked up right. We had to put our little piece back on again, the little piece we snapped off before. No big deal, we got it. <laughs> okay, make sure we have everything. Boom, okay. Now, I think this is it right here. Is this it? Where'd it go? Here it is. Yeah, this is the half, the half an inch. Like I said, Perfect. That's it. Make it snug and go a little bit more. That's it. Like they say. Snug it a little bit more. That's it. Okay. Okay, guys. Just want to see the temperature of the heat coming out. We should have done a before and after, but we didn't. <clears throat> okay. Wow. See you again. First it showed what 130 something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What is that C? Yeah, it's on C. Hang on. There we go. Now Fahrenheit. There we go. 131, 132. What's on this one? 128. Okay. What's on this guy here? 123. Okay. Huh? It's hot as hell. I mean. It is hot. Try it again. This one's at 127, 120, okay, 127. Yeah, so throw off a couple degrees here and there, which isn't a big deal. Don't forget, there's different there's different sectors in that car, different sections. Even though they're both on 80 degrees and the fan is all the way up. Okay. Now, you ready? Now, let's see. Actually, I'm going to actually use... I'm going to shut the car off. Okay. I'm going to use my scanner real quick. Give me a second. All right. Where are we here? Bear with me, guys. Yeah, I'm trying not. Yeah, because if I use my... I also... I also have the blue driver, but I can't show you that when I'm on my phone, you know? And I'm actually videotaping on my phone right now okay network latest okay whatever auto search okay release diagnose let's go let's, uh, let's go over here or something no, no glare no glares no glares <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, yeah, this is going to scan the whole system. I think, yeah. Should. Chrysler. Yeah, see, Chrysler. Even though this is the Dodge Grand Caravan GT, it's saying Chrysler, see? Because Chrysler and Dodge, especially the uh, Chrysler Town and Country and the Dodge Grand Caravan, are basically identical. You know? Especially with the parts. Okay, communicating. Please wait. See how it says Chrysler on it? This is not a Chrysler. Well, it's a Dodge. <laughs> Similar. And I'm sure this car had a couple codes already because, like I said, it did have the, um, this car also had the, um, health report. It had the, uh, the dreaded PO420 Catalina converter. But, but ever since I cleared the codes, the first time about 400 miles ago it never came back on somebody said that the thermostat could have they triggered off the p420 okay pcm okay abs there's a code okay see okay actually let me i can't shut the car off obviously okay Looks like one code. Okay, great. System voltage, circuit voltage below the threshold. So it's C two twelve A sixteen. Okay, let's clear DCs. Boom. Turn the engine off. Leave the key in the on position. It's on the on position. Okay, let's go. This might be a permanent code. No, it went off. Okay, good, good. All the codes are cleared. The main one, the thermostat rationality, that's the one we wanted to clear up, and we did. It's at 100%. Guys, I think this is a fix. Okay, so let's shut this off, get the dongle out, and we're going to start the car up and leave it running for a couple seconds more. Let's shut this guy off, get everything in. Okay, and then shut it off. Shut down. Boom. Now. Okay, let's put this away real quick. You always want to make sure there's no air in the system, guys. All right. All right, guys, well, that's a fix. I'm your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews channel, guys. Hey, guys, we have a little contest out there now. Well, not a contest, but we're trying to change our channel name. Like I've been telling you guys, you know, let me know, man, in the comment section. Let me know some, you know, some names so we could change our name. Yeah, we're just tired of the H&M Review Channel. All right, it's just not really a suitable name, I don't think, anymore. Yeah, so, so, you know, guys, let us know, all right? Shake your neighbor's hand. We love you guys, all right? And click that subscribe button, guys. Click the bell icon, then click all so you never miss any posts or upcoming videos of ours because a lot of people in my live stream... They, they don't know they won because they're not getting notifications, they're saying. I'm like, well, check your post. I mean, you know, click the bell icon and make sure it, the all is clicked. If all is not clicked, you're not going to get notifications from me. All right? So just make sure about that. All right? Peace out, guys. Love you.